Good afternoon, my lovely writers. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. It's English class, and today we are going to continue the lesson that we have started before about personal narrative. In the previous lessons, we have learned what does a personal narrative mean. Personal narrative means that you are going to write a story about about you, about something that happened to you. But before starting the lesson, everyone, I want to read the day and date first. So today is Thursday, April 30, 2020. As I said to you so far, it's weekend and you can enjoy your time tomorrow and after tomorrow. But remember, you need to be ready because next week we have an English exam and I want you to get a full mark. I am sure you can do it because you are so smart and I am so proud of you. So everyone, as I said to you, today we are going to continue the lesson. So our lesson will be about personal narrative, but this time we are going to learn how to edit and then publish our work. So everyone, do you remember the steps? First, we brainstormed ideas. Next, we planned and organized these ideas. Then, we revised our writing. And today, we are going to edit and then publish our writing. So, the lesson of today is super easy. I just want you to focus and listen carefully. So, before reading our objectives, do you remember the song that we used to sing together about personal narrative? Do you remember? Let's sing it together. I have a special story it's something that still about me it's my personal narrative it's my own history so everyone please keep this song in your mind so you can remember that personal narrative it tells something about you so everyone by the end of this lesson you will be able to edit your narrative writing to correct mistakes throughout your writing and also you can publish your writing okay I'm gonna say something everyone about editing and publishing edit your writing so do you remember uh, last week we have learned how to revise uh, our writing so you revised your writing right and you found some mistakes what you are going to do is to edit uh, your writing and to add pictures, maps, drawing, whatever, and then publish it. When you publish it, it means everyone can read what you wrote. So everyone, when you edit your writing, you look for and correct mistakes in spelling, punctuation, capitalization, and grammar. So what does all this mean? So everyone, look over here, read the sentence and tell me how can we correct this sentence. We're going to edit this sentence by looking at the uh, grammatical mistakes, um, capitalization, what else everyone, punctuation, right? So let's read it everyone. Um, Mona goes to school every day, okay? So remember, the sentence should start with a capital letter, right? So as you can see, it's correct. There is a capital letter. But look at this word, okay? So we need to fix this word or to correct this word because there is a spelling mistake, right? So do you remember everyone that we have learned in the simple present tense, we need to add S to the verb when the verb comes after singular so as you can see here Mona is singular right 
and the verb has no s so what you are going to do is to add s right so it will be Mona goes to school and here is another mistake everyone okay so we need to add another O double O so Mona goes to school every day and if you look at the end of the sentence no punctuation mark so you need to add period everyone so everyone now I want you to copy and paste the link below in your browser and watch the introduction video about editing and if you're watching the video you can go to the description below and click on the link so everyone when you publish your writing you create a clean neat final copy okay so your copy will include drawings photos maps to help make your personal narrative more interesting to your readers so if you are going to include all these things the readers will enjoy your writing so usually everyone when you go to the bookshop you would prefer to buy the the book that has drawings photos right and you're going to do the same to make your writing more interesting you um, can include drawings photos and maps so everyone when you edit your writing make, sh make sure that each sentence expresses a complete thought make sure it has correct grammar and spelling so as you can see everyone over here there is a sentence and there are some mistakes so what do we need to do is to edit the mistakes and then write the final sentence so what you are going to do everyone to use the checklist to edit the draft that you wrote last week okay and then after you have revised and edited your personal narrative write your final form write your final form don't forget to add uh, drawings, photos, and maps. Remember everyone, the checklist. You need to start with a capital letter. You need to end your sentence with a period. And what else? Check the spelling mistakes and also the grammatical mistakes. So finally everyone, circle the correct sentence about editing, narrative writing. So when you edit your writing, you add details and information to make the message clearer. You look for and correct mistakes in spelling, punctuation, capitalization and grammar. Or you write the final form to be ready for publishing. So what do you do when you edit your narrative writing? Finally, don't forget to upload a picture or a video of your work in Class Dojo portfolio and have a nice weekend.